What's up guys and welcome to another episode of El Jardín and Pirito. Today we're planting potatoes. All right, so as I'll show you in a minute, I had some store-bought potatoes that were already sprouting. Um, I kind of neglected them for a little bit of time. I am in Houston, Texas. We are going into April now. Worth a shot. I don't know if it'll get too hot for them, but I'm going to plant them under a tree so they'll at least get like kind of filtered light um, so they don't burn. So we'll see how this goes, but maybe we can pull some potatoes before summer. Okay guys, so here are the potatoes we have. And what I'm gonna do is cut each one. If I can find an eye or a sprout, um, the eyes are where the sprouts will come out of. I'm going to make sure each segment that I cut has at least one of the two. All right, so we'll start with this one. And I have a segment with an eye right there. We go here. I know I can cut it this way. So each segment will have at least an eye or a sprout. And so each one of these should yield us a separate potato plant. And so you see, I kind of delayed this for a while. We have some mold here, things are wrinkly. So um, yeah, I got to this just in time. That's a good one. And I see another eye down here. Same with this one. This one we can do in two. One sprout here. See another small eye here. This one has an eye here and an eye there. So we'll just kind of cross our fingers and go with that. All right, so this is what we're left with. All right, so I'm kind of running out of space here in general, but um, nothing's been growing here yet, aside from some weeds. So what I'm going to do, just because things are a little compacted here, I'm going to do like what's equivalent to broad forking. I don't have a broad fork, but I'm going to use a shovel and just kind of dig in and elevate, but I'm not tilling. Yeah, so some of the mycorrhiza might get disrupted. That's fine. But um, really, we're just trying to make sure these things can get down and spread their roots just like First, I'm going to clear out the mulch. because we don't want the mulch getting back under there. We don't want carbon in the soil, we want it on the soil. And I have a persimmon here. I'm not going to really mess with anything too close to it. I'll plant some surface stuff over there, like tomatoes maybe, but um, we'll pretty much be utilizing this. And one of the other reasons is because I'm next to the goat pen, um, goats probably aren't gonna want potato uh, foliage because it's toxic um, so hopefully they won't be tempted although it's far enough away from the fence it shouldn't even be an issue so yeah just putting it in raising things up we're just breaking up the soil a little bit so again just breaking up the soil This stuff is particularly rich um, because all the alfalfa gets dropped over here. Absolutely teeming with life. All right, so right now I'm just kind of marking where I'd like them to go, kind of dispersing things, making sure I have enough to go around, giving them a little bit of space. So I'm just taking my hand shuffle oh, and just plopping them in about three inches, two to three inches down. 
me loosen up some of this dirt if I have to, but really not working it too much. There's a lot of life in here that I don't want it to disrupt. All right, so now I'm just gonna cover it, A, with some of this alfalfa that the goats always drop. And then the mulch. And I'll probably get just a little more mulch in this area. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for today's episode. I just wanted to show you something really quick and easy you can do. Um, stay tuned because I have a few other things that I'll be planting, mostly like store-bought stuff. Uh, try to shop organic if you can, which I usually do. But uh, yeah, I've got some different melons and different things that I'll be putting in the ground, similar to what you just saw. All right, guys, well, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to comment if you have any questions. Um, and like this video if you enjoyed it. It helps the algorithm. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. As always, thanks for tuning in. Until next time.